this amal is the ruh. It is the spirit, the soul, and everything in the akhirah, the hereafter, depends, hinges, balances upon this amal. This is how precious is this amal. And with regards to the hereafter, what I mean is that when a person, when does a person's akhirah begin? When his last breath is drawn. And that's the akhirah. What other akhirah is there? Everyone looks at that person, he's motionless, lying down, not moving. After this deed, all the other amal will be looked upon. That amal is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say it again, subhanallah, the love of Allah. This is a big reality and this is we will enjoy by listening. Whose love? Allah's. Is it the wife's love or the children's love or love of wealth? Love of assets or buildings or houses or shops or business or uncle or mamaji or chachaji? No. Whose love is, who, whose love is the greatest amal? From all the actions, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it. And this from morning till evening we have to do. The rest, the earning of the world is not, we don't, yes, we need to fill our stomach and pay for the children and pay our tax and pay the water bill, electricity bill. These are the needs of life. But it's not the objective of life. Rather what? That in this condition, we should not forget our maqsad, our objective. Say subhanAllah, subhanAllah. Are we mad that we wait, that we forget, we waste a second? That our breaths are counted out, we have to earn the bread and buy the shopping and bring the food to the table. But Allah Ta'ala has made his uh, methodology, the methodology of attaining his love so flexible that no man should be in such a situation. That even if we're busy in the dunya, we should not leave the earning of Allah Ta'ala's love. Now, if we want to do this. So we can't blame somebody else, it was my wife. So we have to measure our love for Allah. So as a Shaykh al-Hadith presented a hadith, a great hadith, he stated that the love of Allah and the sign for the love of Allah, has it said that the sign of the love of Allah, if a person has the love of Allah, is the dhikr of Allah, is the action of dhikr. Say subhanallah. Say subhanallah again. Subhanallah. And this is a great, great hadith. And this is how we should realize what is important. That the sign, the sign of the love of Allah is the dhikr of Allah. The more a person loves the dhikr of Allah, the more he will love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the point we need to understand. The more we have love for the dhikr of Allah, the more will increase. Allah's ma'rifah will increase, subhanallah. Morning and evening it will increase. It will increase. Allah says, I've prepared such that dhikr of the heart... Dhikr of the heart, Allah Ta'ala says, I've prepared. The Allah Ta'ala says, as long as you're alive and your last breath is not drawn, as long as your heart is moving, you continue to do dhikr. Till the last breath, your qurb, your nanis to me will continue to increase, Allah Ta'ala says. Tell me the rewards that person gets, the example I've just given. We shut out, come friends, learn dhikr of the heart. And 